when I boast of my righteousness and look down on others, God may humble me by revealing my own shortcomings and weaknesses, reminding me of my need for His grace. When I judge and condemn others for their sins while ignoring my own, God may confront me with the reality of my own sinfulness. When I seek recognition and praise for my good deeds and charitable acts, God may show me the emptiness of my motives and the need to perform acts of kindness out of genuine love and compassion. When I place my confidence in my religious rituals and outward displays of piety, God may strip away the facade and reveal the true condition of my heart. When I pride myself on my knowledge of scripture and adherence to religious laws, God may expose the hypocrisy and pride lurking within me. When I distance myself from those considered sinners and outcasts, God may challenge me to extend grace and mercy to all, recognizing my own need for forgiveness and redemption. When I refuse to forgive others and harbor bitterness in my heart, God may allow me to experience the consequences of unforgiveness, leading me to seek reconciliation and healing. When I elevate myself above others in positions of authority or leadership, God may humble me by exposing my weaknesses and limitations. When I rely on my own efforts and achievements for salvation and righteousness, God may confront me with the truth of my utter dependence on His grace and mercy for salvation. When I live a life of self-righteousness and pride, God may bring circumstances that humble me. When I harbor envy and jealousy towards those who succeed, God may confront me with the destructive nature of comparison and lead me to celebrate the accomplishments of others with genuine joy. When I struggle with anger issues and lash out at others, God may allow situations to arise that test my patience and reveal the need for self-control and forgiveness. When I engage in gossip and spread rumors about others, God may convict my heart and bring to light the harm caused by my words, prompting me to speak with kindness and integrity. When I find amusement in the misfortune of others and mock their failures, God may humble me by reminding me of my own vulnerabilities and the importance of showing empathy and compassion. When I struggle with pride and arrogance, God may humble me by allowing setbacks and failures to humble me, teaching me humility and dependence on Him for strength and guidance.